Uh, Chad, the city of Birmingham looking to move beyond 2022, uh, a year that saw the most homicides since the early 90s. Yeah, WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough is live in Birmingham tonight with one activist plea to zero in on the core problem. Chip. Jarvis and Brittany, the city of Birmingham recorded 144 homicides in 2022, the most since 1991. And one community activist says while there's been a lot of talk about gun violence in our area, he says there's not been enough talk about gang violence. It represents pain. Birmingham community activist Dr. Artis Murphy is reacting to the city's 144 homicides in 2022 that he says represent a number of other factors. Lack of love and understanding. People are hurting. These kids did not come here this way born in that sense. It's created by what people don't want to deal with a word called truth. Murphy says for the public, a gang is a gang, but for gang members, a gang is family, a way to be loved and accepted and avoid pain they experienced earlier in life. Now it's at a point where it's out of control because now the pain, the core spiritual pain, we're talking about spiritual pain. It's so deep that they'll do anything to try to get out of it. Not only kill, they'll do drugs that they know kill them. They'll do anything to not feel that pain again. Because to them, death is a way out. It's a good thing. So if they live past 21 years old, man, they, they, they feel like they done made it, like they 70. Jefferson County Sheriff Mark Petway recently addressed gun violence in general during a community prayer service. The city of Birmingham has had a lot of gun violence this year and that's part of Jefferson County. And we want to make sure that going into the year 23 that we have a way of, of bringing down those numbers of gun violence, finding out what's going on in the communities to make sure that we turn that around. Dr. Artis Murphy says at the same time we have to closely examine the driving forces behind gang violence. If I was a gang leader, I ain't never touched no drugs, I ain't never touched no gun, and I live well, million dollar house, drive half million dollar cars, just because I don't do shit to blood don't mean I don't have blood on my hand. If I'm taking any money from it, I'm a part of it. And there are so many people part of what's going on that will not say anything about it because they receive so much wealth from it. Dr. Murphy says he really wants to stress tonight that gang members view themselves as a family seeking love and acceptance from each other. On top of that, he says he's heard stories of gang members as young as 12 or 13 years old picking out their caskets, thinking their deaths are imminent. Live in Birmingham tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.